Coming to you from Radnor, Pennsylvania, this is your weekly news update. Hi, I'm Brittany Palmer with news about what's going on at and around Cabrini College. And I'm Casey Semenza, and this is your weekly news update. On Friday, March 4th, an incident occurred in Woodcrest Residence Hall, which has displaced approximately 92 students. A freshman student accidentally burst a sprinkler water pipe in the ceiling of the second floor. The 47-year-old building quickly filled with water that seeped from the second floor all the way to the basement. No one was harmed, but the same cannot be said for the personal belongings of many students who lived there. Woodcrest is expected to undergo construction and repairs so it is hopefully ready for the incoming class next fall. Want to truly be part of something extraordinary? How about embracing the 15th Amendment and exercising your right to vote? The last day to register to vote before the presidential primary elections is March 28th. If you are unable to vote on Election Day or cannot attend your polling place, you may qualify for an absentee ballot. The last day to apply for an absentee ballot for the primaries is April 19th, and the general primary election is April 26th. If you would like further information on where you can register, visit www.vote411.org. Cabrini College takes safety on campus very seriously. We spoke to a resident and a resident assistant to find out how they stay safe. I just tell my residents to just continue to just be aware of your surroundings. I tell them to carry around mace or anything. Just make sure you, you're walking with a friend at night. If it's too dark, make sure you're walking where there's lights, there's street, light, there's street lights and cameras and stuff like that. Make sure you, you always have your cell phone charged so if, if anything happens, you can call someone for help or anything like that. Yeah, I feel safe. I haven't had no problems since my freshman year. Um, I think public safety definitely do their job and they come out like as soon as possible when you call them. So yeah, I feel safe. I always keep my door locked, honestly, to keep people out. Like, I live in a suite, so it's like the main door is usually open because I mean, people are always just walking in and out. It'd be a pain to unlock all the time. But like my room, I usually like I keep all my stuff in there and doors locked. Basically, yeah. And there's usually someone in the suite, so, you know. Um, me, I make sure my cell phone's charged. I make sure I'm always aware, looking around, seeing who's, who's walking past me, if there's anybody following me or anything like that. Um, Take the advice. I know when coming to school for my freshman year, the one thing that public safety always told me to do is if I'm traveling on campus at nighttime, always walk with somebody. Never walk alone, because you don't know what might end up happening? Um, fairly well. Remember, they don't hear my part of the question, so you kind of got it. Okay, yeah, sorry. Um, I would say Cabrini handles security fairly well. I mean, I don't really think this is necessarily a, a bad area. I think it's a pretty nice area. And, you know, they close the gates at night. Um, I, just, I don't really think there's too much to worry about, really. I would, rec I would recommend that they tell the students and encourage students to uh, get on the emergency text me app just so they're aware of the situations, whether it's uh, weather or whether it's just someone that they don't know on campus is on campus, just so they know to be safe and just watch their surroundings. As always, we encourage you to call public safety if you ever feel unsafe or would like an escort. With the middle of the semester already upon us, students and soon-to-be graduates are feeling the pressure of finding a job or internship in the next couple of months. Get a head start on the career search by attending the Government and Nonprofit Career Fair at St. Joseph's University on March 31st, starting at 11 a.m. Take the chance to meet numerous government and nonprofit organizations looking to expand their companies through internships and entry-level jobs. What would you do if you found $15,200 in a bag just sitting on the side of the road? Would you take some or turn it all in? An, a 61-year-old Delaware County man faced this problem when he found the money in a small black bag on a street in Upper Darby. The SEPTA employee decided it was best to turn in all the money to police and has been congratulated for his honesty. But there have been no robberies reported in the area, nor has anyone come to the police about missing money. So for now, the money remains with authorities. Thanks for watching News on Location. Make sure to follow us on all of our social media platforms by simply searching Location News. I'm Brittany Palmer. And I'm Casey Semenza. Have a great week, Cabrini.